Thank you so much for Deck for sponsoring this video, and we'll see you guys here in a second. So right now we're going to head to um, draw our boat numbers, which is always a crucial part of the tournament, getting your boat position. The last time we had, uh, we were almost last, we were like the last 15 boats, so uh, hopefully we're going to get a better boat number this time. Rackley? I did better than you. Yeah. At least 53. We'll get on them on day two. There you go. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks. Well, 53. Last time I think we were 57. So we'll be late. Our, actually, our weigh-in, though, check-in time is 350. So we might have a little afternoon delight. But uh, it is what it is, y'all. So we're just going to have to... Uh, Try to grind it out. Won't get on there first thing, but I'll figure it out. Yeah. So bright with that kind of pressure. You can feel a lot more stuff. Allergy medicine. My neighbor's brain. Well, the number? absolute worst like number we could possibly have. Like 70? Four, in the middle of 45? Both, both days were like in the Oh, yeah, that sucks. Well, what are you going to do? We pulled what, like? 17. 17 last time. Look how good we did. I don't think it really matters. I don't you know what? Either. You don't need this. Throw it out the window. Here at Lake Palestine, we got the tournament director on the on the mic, spitting out numbers. We're lining up. Boats are eager and ready. There's definitely going to be some bigger weights this one. There's not going to be anyone not coming in. I think everyone's going to wait and fish today. It's going to be good. I think we've had consistent weather. It's been cool in the mornings, decently hot in the afternoon, and um, some hammers out here, man. Some absolute hammers. So we're boat number 45. You talking about us? Yeah, I'm talking about us. We are the hammers. <laughs> yeah, we proved it last yeah. time. We're the hammers and the bass and the points of the nails. We're just gonna beat them in. But yeah, no boat number 45. So we're we're, we're gonna hang out for a bit. We're gonna chill. Last time we got 17. That was kind of lucky. But now we get to wait. And our partners have what 54? They're right behind us. Yeah. They're right behind us. So we'll all be going out together. Long run to the marina. Um, we're about to get this thing kicked off and you know, I don't really have any nerves or anything. We're just going to go fishing. Yeah, we're just going to go fishing. Uh, I guess it's because we didn't, we didn't like totally suck in practice, but we also didn't just we didn't figure a lot out. <laughs> figure a lot <laughs> out. About 10 minutes we got a couple spots that have some big minutes. ones, so we're just going to go there. If that doesn't work out, we're going to just put the trolling water down. Just keep after it so try to scoop some up today just have fun fishing a derby with my buddy 
That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, let's get it. Let's get it to a fun school fish. Palestine team tournament starts in three, two. Oh my god! Hey, I'm here. I'm here. Oh, there's something. There we go. Oh, I got a nice bite. I got the hook. I don't know. He didn't have the whole thing in his mouth, I guess. But that was a quality fish because I saw the boil and it was pretty big. It's a good sign, though, as long as we're getting opportunities and bites. It felt real mushy, though. It was like I had to think about it for a second. Sometimes they'll do that, like you think you gotta get all the way under the dock and you get most of your bites at the end of the docks. Whether that means they're falling it out or if that's just where they're hanging and feeding them. I don't know. But it's good to fish all angles of this stuff. Sometimes they'll be up under, sometimes they'll be in front. It's good to move around. It's tough to cover water with like a bottom bait as much as I'd love to flip and pitch every single crevice of this area. I mean, it's just, yeah, someone should do it. <laughs> we ran longer than I was anticipating. That was that was a while, but we ran um, almost three quarters of the lake. We're down south. There's nobody on our spot where we caught our biggest fish, so we're gonna start right here. See if we can start off with a big one, and then move on from there. Try to fill the limit. For the morning, two and a half, three pounder. Oh, well, that's for certain. Yes, yes. Come with the secret juice. The banger. Fish. So, if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you guys know I actually installed one of these deck systems in my truck months back, and I ab. Absolutely love it. I will have one in every single one of my trucks. That is gonna be like my hunting my hunting rig, my fishing rig. If you guys work outdoors and live in the outdoors, this helps you declutter everything. Every single one of these, look at this. Look how far this comes out. Waist high, right here, it can hold 200 pounds like this. Right now I have all my extra Garmin stuff in here because it does break. If you guys don't know this, like transducers, I don't even know what this is but that's an extra GPS, just in case it does. Look, decluttered all in there, guess what? Tools. Right now this is pretty much all the stuff if I needed for my boat, if I broke down, extra racket sets, locks for the trailer hitches. This is all my spare little tools and parts inside of here. And then I got this bag on top. This thing is absolutely phenomenal. If you guys do not have one inside of your life, you need to get one, especially if you live outdoors, like literally live outdoors like I do. It doesn't matter if you have a truck cap because the best thing this thing is weatherproof. Water is not gonna get inside of those boxes. You don't need to have a truck cap to have one of these. And look, I have all the stuff on top. Helps you declutter. You can literally put all your stuff in there. I mean, this is one of the best features to add to your truck. If you've not added anything, this is what you need to get. So the deck drawer system actually keeps your gear secure. If your tailgate is locked, you can't actually open up the door at all. You can't remove anything. You can't remove the system or nothing. It's in there. Decked is also 100% made in the United States and is backed by a lifetime, no hassle warranty. 
with a second to none customer service team that is ready to answer your calls and questions. So what you guys need to do is go to deck.com slash Guggen to get free shipping on your decked product. If you're looking for something for yourself for this Christmas, hey, this is the time to do it. We're, we're literally coming up on the holidays. Get yourself one of these. I 100% would advise everybody to get one if you can afford one to snag one of these. It will make your life so much easier. So go to deck.com slash Guggen to get free shipping on your deck product to your house. Thank you so much for Deck for sponsoring this video and we'll see you guys here in a second. Fish. Not, fish, it is fish, but not big enough. Well, I don't know. It probably is big. What are the rules? Are we still? That's not it. It's well, but... well, I didn't know if like we were back. Like, no. He uh, he definitely full faced it. I you got some big on. I don't know if that's what's heading here. Spot. Little guy. Not what we need. Another one. Why is it that we always so uh we always get the wrong ones? Wrong ones only. Hey bud. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. See you later. Spot. Oh no. What is that? That's a spot. Jeez, man. No matter where we are, shallow, deep. Cranking, dragging, <laughs> catch spots. There's my first today. They look really weird in here. They're super green. See you, Jimmy. Well, <laughs> you got three fish. There's a decent one. There we go. That might keep. That's good. There we have it. First actual, probably scoreable largemouth of the day. Not huge. One we definitely want to get rid of, but bite's a bite. And I broke my one fish per day limit. Okay. 14 inches, I don't think she's going to make the cut, but... Oh, she is. Um, yeah. She's on it. It's 14. You got it. Small side right. Small side right, yeah. You want to put a pole on? Okay. No, because he's on the small side. Let's go. We got ice in there already? Uh, no. Do you have an iced? Not. I'm not iced. Have not. Please release me. We've not iced up. Okay. All right. Time for a little fish care. Sometimes we catch them out of deep water. It's really tough on them, but it's mainly just the lack of oxygen. These lakes have uh, started to flip over too. So I'm putting some. Uh, please release me in there. And this is a product that. Kind of takes out the chlorine and um, helps the fish's slime coat. That's like their protective layer. It's like their outer immune system. And we're gonna put some ice in there as well. So ice is gonna cool down the water. It's gonna help the water retain more oxygen. And it keeps the fish calmer, less stressed. And the whole goal is to catch and release. So these fish can be caught again one day. And we don't want to add too much ice right now. We don't want to shock the fish, but it's going to do like a quarter of a bag. And I have the live well plugged, so there's no water coming in from the outside lake. We're just going to retain this water and recirculate it and just keep it chilled down and uh, keep our fish alive for the next generation for you to go catch them again got a little movement boats are uh, starting to run down here it looks like beautiful calm day one in the box we're just covering bank right now uh, stuff we've never even fished in practice just just going down whatever looks good dock looks good we'll throw at it if there's a pocket that might look good with some stuff in it, it might go in there go out on the point drag it's just whatever you know looks good or whatever we see if we see shad getting chased um it's all it is ground and pound ground and pound we have no real specific spots that were well we had two we, we had we had two spots but one of them we caught a fish off of the first one um 
it's just not I don't think it's a good morning spot I think it's an afternoon spot but uh, we really didn't get on a good dock bite I caught a few off the docks that were main lake but we've heard some stories of guys catching them good sacks off the docks so um, we didn't really do that in practice we just wanted to facilitate that pattern during the tournament and not catch any fish that we could be catching in the tournament so. oh the gosh is that, is that a, a rattlesnake yeah no it's a fake one it scared me <laughs> There we go. There we go. He didn't swim in it. Back to the boat. Slurped it. Reel it back in. A nice little keeper. Carolina Riggins. Carolina Riggins, baby. So, um, I'm just Carolina Riggins, a full size trench hog. Put a little hot bud on it, a little dip and die, and it's just a good, I mean, if I had to pick like one Carolina rig bait, it would be some sort of full size, like trench hog, hog bait. Um, just catches them year round. Sometimes I like the little one, I'm throwing the big one just because it's. I don't know. It's a little bit dirtier water and <sighs> all right. Feeling all right. Feeling pretty good. Good thing. Fish. Better. Might be. I think I foul hooked him. I don't think he's as good as I think he is. Oh no, that was a good one, man. Hold up. Is that a spot? Spot. It's on his fish. What in the world is that? Uh, it's either a spot or some height, like maybe I don't know. It looks like a, just a really dark spot. Fish number two of the day. There you go. Come on, guys. There's a good one. Little guy. My third fish of the day. A little beautiful spot. It's pretty fishing. Spotted bass. Thank you, Bubba. Oh, it's like last derby. You can't leave. Can't get away from the spots. Theme of the day. Catch the spots. Throw them back. Close. Job. All I like about this thing is that when I need to paint. Oh, that one might be. Same. It was on that ladder. Sometimes when you're fishing a jig, if you just feel like it's not sinking or it's supposed to be sinking, then you probably have a fish on. That's what happened. Jig just stopped. Still close, keeper spot. Three in the boot. Time to get out to that light. Got the minnows. Y'all are good luck. Yeah, y'all stay right there. Holy sh Nike! <laughs> Woo! That's a big one. Holy moly. That's well, a big one. We need that one. <laughs> oh, I got a squirt bill in my shoe. Real quick. 
We got to keep this thing alive for the next five hours. Yeah, okay. yeah, we understand. Thank you. Yeah. We, Thank you we like your doc. Yeah. <laughs> Holy schmike. We've been having a hard day, too. Seriously. That's one of the four. That's great. <laughs> Honestly, I was kind of in shock. I, I, I was about to tell Trey, I think this is a little one. Because I felt like a nip, nip, nip. And I was like, oh, another spotted bass. He's got it. And then he just started swimming out to deep. And I leaned on it. And I was like, oh, that's weird. Maybe it's a catfish. And then I saw the head. And I was like, that's a logger headed. That's a logger headed green one. Well, we know what we're doing. Why buy him? There we go. Oh, that's keeping for sure a spot, but I don't know. I don't think that's, that's going to be 14 for sure. That thing's long and skinny. No, no. I don't think so, unfortunately. Another spot. I don't know if he's going to help us. I don't look 14 to me, but we'll try. Unless I got a different bump board. I guess it's 14. Small size. It's midday. It's 12.30, so we got three hours left to fish. We have four in the live well. One Mondo, um, Trey caught a good one this morning and the rest are just kind of 14 inches. So the goal now is we got to fill a limit and then hopefully we can get like a three or four pounder in that mix and then get us up there. You know, when you catch a big fish that really changes the game because if you can just catch a few decent fish to go along with it, that's going to really put you up that leaderboard. So we got a blessing in the box. So we're gonna try to capitalize on that and uh, fill out a limit. But it seems like the deeper docks are key. We didn't fish that at all in practice. This is just something we said we might revert to if things don't go our way during the tournament. Um, and we've run out of spots, so we're just going fishing. Spots we've never fished before. So we're gonna run up the lake, I think, look for some similar type things. Look for rock, look for deeper uh, creek channels coming by these banks where these docks are. And try to fill out a limit, man. Once we get a limit, I'll feel really good. And then from there, it's just grinding, trying to upgrade. So. Measures. 100%? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It measures. Alright. Number five. Go! Go! sitting here talking about we need like a three or four pounder just to get us up in like 18 put us in the mix <sighs> it hurts so bad because you just don't get many bites on the docks you know it's like one every hour you get a keeper a decent one and uh pitch it up in a little perfect spot good bite Broke it off. You know? A lot of times when they get that jig deep in their mouth, you set the hook really hard, close up, you'll pop the line. I just, that's what I did. Got too excited. All good. It's all good. All good. <laughs> that's the only thing that could have made this better is if we just couldn't start the boat. Turn all your graphs off. Oh, she dead, homie. <laughs> Guess we're fishing this. And then how are we getting back? Gotta call Rackler then, I don't know. Batteries, starter batteries completely shot. Um, the thing is we could ask Rackley 
Team Rackley and Team Trader pull us in, but they've apparently got some pretty good fish. Um, so we're not we're not gonna bother them. Can't even research. That, that, that's the ball game. That's the ball game. We'll get them. We'll get them next time. We'll get them tomorrow. We're fishing tomorrow. <laughs> if you want to. <laughs> well, I can see the marina from here. So. Worst came to worst, John will get out and push us. Yep. But pretty shallow lake. We're really hoping on this motor starting at, at this point. I don't know if it will. Okay. Oh boy. Moment of truth. Oh! Struggle for a second. Alright, we can make it back. I don't know, I have some confidence in what we did in the last, you know, four hours today that we can get five bites if we just grind. And uh, I'm no stranger to, you know, getting one bite every couple hours. Um, I, I can do that. I know yeah. you, Trey can do that too. He's, he's, he's well, uh, well seasoned when it comes to fishing hard for, for five bites. So I'd like to get more, I'd like to get a lot of bites, but Good thing is if we catch like two or three big ones doing this, we can weigh little spots as well. Yes. So it allows you to like, that, I mean, takes a lot of pressure off. And I think we can like probably catch two or three big ones doing this. Mm -hmm. We just put them in the boat. And, yeah, um, if we would have landed those two today, we would have a really nice be, yeah. sack. But we're gonna see what we got for weight. Head in, check in with the other boys, compare notes, you know, see what, uh, See what was working for them, what wasn't working, and, and go from there. Guggen Bates on board with us this year. That's right, Guggen Bates. Nadine. Nadine. Oh, no. Nadine. Right there. 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 Cherry Epic, Justin Rackley, boat number 53. Watch them. 1509, that's, a, that's like double what? Y'all know. I ain't got to say nothing, man. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you. What happened? We didn't do good. So you're we, don't like, we don't deserve to lie. Three pounds? Not even, dude. I better be like 2.8. There's not going to be anyone not coming in. I think everyone's going to weigh in fish today. I know. I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to get bombed in the comments, and I know you're probably pissed at me, but I'd rather, I'd rather take a zero than come up there with three spotted bass again. Zero. We'll go catch 30 pounds tomorrow. Uh, we're going to go talk about patterns, talk about strategies for tomorrow. Um, it was a decent day. Feel like we uh, we could have really had a good opportunity being up there if we hadn't broke off some fish. But it's just good to know that there are some bigger ones that can be caught, and you know we really didn't have a good strategy for midday. Didn't have any good spots, and we were just able to put the trolling motor down and catch a limit. So it's tough. It's going to be tough to catch a limit tomorrow, but we'll grind it out. I mean, again. what, what place are we in? 15? Uh, I have no idea yet. They haven't posted anything. Yeah, I don't think it, the way in. 16 pounds was like sixth place when we first rolled yeah, up. Okay. Oh, well, well, then we're in, we're we're in contention we to get a check. We might be top 20. Yeah, top 20. Right now? Yeah. So we could get a check and get paid to go fishing. This is a possibility. Which I don't. Did, that would be getting paid did not expect that. It does, doesn't happen every day. So we, mm. need, we need to go out there and, and have a good showing. So, anyways, y'all, smash that like button for good luck. And hopefully we're going to catch some big ones tomorrow. You know you got to stay tuned. Subscribe right here. We'll see you on the next Gook and Squad episode. All right. We're about to get fired off here. Day two. Just got to adapt and overcome. Big one. Yeah.